over Can I have it much longer? I don't really care for Corona But we must use sanitizer If you go far away Hello guys, good morning It's a beautiful day and yes This is going to be my first vlog this is my first, no, this is my second vlog for this year. Today I'm going to carry you guys along in a day in my life and I hope you'd enjoy it. Um, institution, to the children that actually enjoyed the meet and break. The meet and break is not made for teachers, so that's why I am still going to work. And so everywhere is looking um, easy and that's because it's a matter and I don't know how you guys are finding this thing. That is something called a Pelion theory or whatever. So, I don't know. The weather is not bad, but it's bad. Why? Because the dust is now top notch and it's not funny. And you have to like apply body cream to your body so well so that you don't get embarrassed by this whitish feeling. And then the dust, OMG. Who hates Amata because of the dust? Yeah, I do. And the dust is always massive and crazy trust me i'm not a fan of dust at all like i practically left home and i came back still, like two days and trust me everywhere was really really dusty and i was like what if i had traveled for a month like doesn't mean that i would not be able to enter my house and well it is what it is so the dust is just the issue we have in now and we are told to eat a lot of fruits so that we protect ourselves from flu okay basically and so um yeah let's just head to work because i'm already late okay let's go between i guess we need my makeup classroom the kids are at home for me time and Miss Dami is just here cruising yeah yeah okay so let's see what else there will be that's too much to do we are going to pray and fast so that's why we are here and yes, maybe I will just I'm vlog coming to see or not this or maybe not ah this lady she came before me today I can't Who before you I can't that. believe it I was there before I think she came before me that too much she used to come early but today ah believe her for her I have come from Mr. Timothy. Mr. Timothy is the only person I used to come in this school. Came in. I'm proud of Isha. <laughs> so basically, guys, I am actually here to pray and we have been told to fast. I just love the way my skin is popping this morning. There's one thing I love about Matanis is the fact that it allows my skin to pop. Although the acne are not fully gone yet, right? I think they left some scars, but it's not so bad. I'm already recording this part of the video but the noise was just too much and i felt like you guys were not going to enjoy so i want to start all over again so i was basically ranting about the current naira age in nigeria even though it sounds like i'm looking i'm looking smiley about the whole thing but trust me deep down it's a painful situation and no one ever envisaged that we're, we're actually going to get to this point where we start having issues with money not because we don't have money, but because money seems to be scarce all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> this is a bad woman, I will not even lie. Money, how can money be scarce? Which time was that in the Bible where they had money like this? I don't think it was ever recorded in the scripture. I said that there was famine. So, yes, this issue has really gotten beyond what we expected. And that's because our, what's it called now? Our economics analysts, they did not do their job well. Sorry, the camera is shaking. They didn't do their job well at all and it's really telling on us the citizens. I mean, how can you put everybody in a state of a poor year like this? It's really unfair. I'm even speaking so much grammar. Do you guys have cash at hand? Of course, what kind of person is that? If you see anybody with cash now, it's like the person is the king of the boys. Like, it's not funny. At the moment, I have 
1550 naira. Now, there's a story behind this money you're saying because I tried so hard before this crisis became intense. I had quite a number of cash at hand to do, right? And I was confident that by the time I'm done exhausting that money, we would have gotten the headway out of this crisis. But, hmm, guys, I was mistaken. But one thing I know is that no matter the weather, God is always in control. Okay, it might look very unbelievable, but fact is God is still in control. Okay? Before you carry out any policy, I mean, yes, I think there's what they call visibility studies. In my own studies, my course of study, we were taught visibility study when it concerns valuation of properties, land, and all that. In this case, a visibility study when you want to carry out a project, project, right? So, how would you embark on a project without properly assessing the what's it called now? The cost involved, the pains that people will have to go through. Well, I think that for every policy that governments enact, it always comes with a bit of hardship, right? I understand that, but it shouldn't come with this intense hardship like it's only by the grace of god that we are still standing honestly because if people were to take laws into their hands since they have gotten way way worse than it is at the moment she would tell that people are protesting that was the smallest part of it because it takes a minute of prisoners for someone to just start one crisis and before you boom everywhere is on fire it's not funny like i don't know whatever the cbn governor did i'm not even here to call him names or whatever but oh gosh I wish I had done better, believe me, but they are human. Humans are bound to make mistakes, and of course, mistakes are made for women. So, how would I even expect perfection? So, back to the story that led to this naira that I have at the moment. Before now, I had just 850 naira on me as cash at hand. Okay, I have money in my accounts, but I can't withdraw. It's insane. Okay, so I already calculated that since I will still be going to work for the next few days. This 815 naira should be able to suffice for the remaining days of this week. Whereas I had forgotten that I had to go to church yesterday. Believe me, I felt like... <clears throat> when I went to church yesterday, I started calculating and I realized that, oh, I didn't even add the expenses of church to my current cash situation. So when I go to church, I was just like, I will wait for an offering time and get an avenue to talk to people that wanted to drop cash as offering for them to give me the money so I can transfer to the church accounts. Yeah, I was as a young lady seated in the line of some other ladies and a few number of guys. To my left hand side, I saw this babe, you know, putting offering inside the offering below. I was like, excuse me, please can I have the money while I transfer the money to the church account for you? This lady was like, no, as in, Obri, any problem? Sorry to say, honestly, this is not a big deal. You already understand the situation of the country. Like, imagine that somebody is dying and, and you have a spare cash. I believe that if you have a spare cash, you can't be dropping cash as often this time and, uh, and season. Believe me. Even when the situation was not this intense, I hardly drop cash as often in church. I transfer most of the time, right? So I was like, for you to have been able to get cash to drop as often, that means you have a little more somewhere, right? It's just 500 naira for crying out loud, though. just 500 naira. This lady was, you know, the way she just like, oops, no, she's not, okay. I was offended, I would not even lie. But I was like, see, let me just forget about it. Look for another alternative. So to my right hand side, I saw this brother who was trying to envelope his offering. And I saw that he has quite a number of 500 naira in his post. I'm sorry, I, I had to stalk him. Is that stalking or what I call that now? Prying his privacy. Because I was, <clears throat> I was, how do I explain this? I was really, really desperate for cash. I just could not imagine that I would leave church and I would not even be able to get 500 naira extra on top of the money I have just to suffice for the rest part of the week. So I was like, I'm going to stop this brother. In my mind, I was like, what if you also behave like the lady? But you know, guys, I hope you will be with me. Honestly, if you have, your life is free, okay? So we were having a confession, closing confession after service. and. See that confession, Ogun to Jekwe, very long. We kept on saying and saying and saying. I was like, God, how many will I remember when I leave church now? But believe me, I think that confession should not be that long. Closing confession should be something, it might not be too small, but something that you can easily recollect even outside of church environments, right? But this one was very long. I can't remember everything we said again. I think the only one I remember is that I'm an investor. And that was it. So we kept on talking and saying the confession and everything. In my mind, I was just distracted. I was like, well, this brother should not go before I finish confession so I can talk to him for cash and everything. I was just looking at him with the corner of my eyes, okay? And everything, everything. So, ah, 
the conversation is almost coming to an end. It's very tough, very tough. The thing did not finish on time. We're still talking and talking. I was like, hey, God, do we have missing? Eventually, Sha, that was I just tapped the brother. I'm sorry to stop you, brother. Please, can I have a little cash? I, I, don't, I actually mentioned the amount I wanted. I said, please, can I have a phone in your cash? I'll transfer to your account. The brother was like, oh, no problem. I was like, oh, well, you're getting the So I was like, trying to like, you know, send the money to him via my half. And so she just don't know me like, okay, can I ask for 500 that money? My mother was like, okay, please, can we make it 1,000 naira, please? And I'll transfer it to you. The brother was like, oh, no problem. The, <clears throat> the Nigerian in me was like, I make her 2,000, 2,000. She really make it 2,000, bros. But well, like, well, let me just stop there before the brother will go and change his mind. I beg. What's so done is that he's generous enough to even give me 1,000 naira without any charges in Kyoto. Ah, I should be grateful to Abba. So that was how I transferred the 1,000 naira to the brother. And I was so happy. Like, you know me, don't go. So I guess you know me, you not Like, if us should enter my ass, it's not a misstep. Oh, did I get that right? <laughs> okay, so I was so happy. As I was getting, I was just like, thank God, dude. This money felt like. Lord V. It's all she give you some dinner and now. Believe me, this is the time when money is very valuable. All the times I give people money, like but all day I get people and they say, mm, just take it and walk out. Now you will see people, they'll be begging, they will be really like they'll be, they be saying, Oh, I shake gone here. See. <clears throat> time and season up so all honesty. Time and chance in the Bible so but time and season it may so why? Because the situation of this country. It's not funny, but honestly, so basically, I'm just praying to God that this coming election, because it's just five days' time, if I'm right, yeah, I hope it goes down well. Let's just get an headway out of this, okay? And my concern now is that when this thing started, I was like, it's going to fade away soon, it's going to fade away soon. But the way this thing is going, hmm. God have mercy, oh, may we not enter revolution in Buruko, because it's not funny anymore. This has to end like ends as soon as possible it's it's really really disturbing but anyway sha i think i'm popping like i said and this skin is just given today except for this cast and the makeup is just there told you did i try because this is dedicated to you my eyebrows eyebrows and my bro whatever they call it Asha, I, oh you guys coping i don't know but it is all my country Nigeria. <sighs> so we just finished praying and guys we pray for one hour. <laughs> so sometimes we get to wonder that can you even pray for five minutes? But trust me, when some things happen to you, eh, you will stretch yourself in the place of prayer. You will stretch by force by fire. The prayer will come. <laughs> we won't say the trouble that is bigger than ours. Okay, guys, so I just finished drowning a bowl of Amala I mean, Omo Bade when you can Jamala because it's shopping mall for chicken and chips. Yeah.